Hello together, be welcome to our technical session today. Today I want to make a short video to demonstrate how to connect SharePoint to Excel sheet. Yes, we keep it quite simple. Here I have my SharePoint list already open and this is a project list. In this project list, it's quite a simple list. Yes, with title, ID, description and project number. And now I have here on the other side, an empty Excel sheet. And in this Excel sheet now, I would like to connect the data from SharePoint here. And uh, for that, I have to open the Excel sheet, the data sheet. And in the data sheet, we have here to open the online, the, the service, the online service. Here, my text is in German, but we want to connect to online services. And I have to select here data out of SharePoint online. Then when I select of uh, SharePoint online list, yes, when I select now, then uh, we will see a, a pop-up where we have to enter the address of our SharePoint list. So we have now to copy the URL of the SharePoint list and put it here. In this case, I have to copy the address of my SharePoint list, for, of my SharePoint site, not of the list itself, but from the SharePoint site. And then... I have to put it here, the URL of my website, and I would prefer to select the version two. And when I click here on OK, then it will connect. OK, and you see here, normally it's because I'm already connected to the SharePoint. Normally it can request to authenticate. So in my case, I already have an authentication. That's why it's no more proposed. So the list I'm looking is the project list. So I, you see that all the list of this, all the different SharePoint data of this site are already displayed here in the, the all the data containers. Yes, but I just want to connect to my SharePoint list project and you see the title here, you can see all the data of this uh, SharePoint list will be displayed here. There are also some columns that you don't need. And so you can start here a data transformation that you can use uh, to, to, to maybe manage or transform the data before they are displayed in SharePoint. But in our case, we just want to load all these data into SharePoint, uh, into Excel. And now you see that here on the left on the right side the connection between excel and sharepoint will be displayed and we see here the number of data that are loaded now and in our list here you see that we have all the data that we have in the sharepoint display you have project one project two and from now on i can go to my sharepoint and i can just create a new item here by clicking here and say we want to create a new project okay i have to give the title here i can say here project tree and description this is a new project yes it's just for the demonstration here and i will give the number project number three and i can save it here so now that all this information are here i can just open my excel sheet go to the data sheet again to the data menu and we'll update by clicking here to update and you see that the data are already here quite simple straightforward to the task and best thing for i follow this session today see you next bye Gilles.